Hi guys, today I'm drawing my, trying to organize all my camping stuff, but I have come up with a camp kitchen checkbox. And this is gonna serve two purposes. One, when I'm storing it in my closet that I have everything for camping in, I can just take this whole tote and store it like this and I'd be able to stack other totes on top of it. Two, when I get to camp, this will be the camp kitchen, so I can just carry this big box, put it in our vehicle, and then when we get to camp, I could use this, put it on our table, and this will be the check box. When I use it at the camp, I turn it on its side, and I'll show you, but I'm gonna show you everything that's in it first. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you what all is in my camp kitchen checkbox. So, whenever I open it, it's going to look upside down because this is what my box is going to look like with everything in it. But then when I actually get to camp, I will be like turning it up on its side so then it will look more like this. But I'm going to show you that in a minute. But I'm going to show you everything that I have in here. So let me go ahead and turn it. Some of these things will fall out because when I uh, put them in this way, I just stuff some things in here. But when I am at camp, I will be able to reorganize it and I'll show you. But what I would do is just turn this like this. I would be at camp. Okay, so this will actually fall out, which was my coffee pot. But then it will look like this on my camp table. And I actually have these two doors here that I will be putting on there to keep that on there. But this would be what the box looks like. I have a couple drawers here that I can pull out stuff. I've got my pots and pans in here, my plates up here. I've got my silverware in here, my cups in here and my cutting board. I'm gonna show you what all I actually do have in this little thing to organize it. So, let's start with Okay, this is what the checkbox would look like once I go to camp and I set it up. It will be on its side. So then all I have to do is the next time I need to go, it would have the drawers right here that I can reach in and get. It would have these containers here and these containers here. But this is what would be uh, that I would be able to get to. So let me show you what is in each one of these little things. Here, I would have my plates and stuff. I would have like my, we've got the plates, which also comes with the cereal bowls. It comes with the, the plates, four plates. They're color coded so we know who has what color. And then it has the four cereal bowls. It's got the, the plastic wear like this. And then I went to the dollar store and I just got these little uh, laundry, I guess, washing things. But you can put your plates in there and shake them up and they are now your drip bags. So I have two of those. I'd like to get two more, but I usually put two colors in at one time to store them. But that is our, it's got our plates, our cereal bowls, and our silverware and that is in this container okay I have a cutting board up here that I would be able to get to so this is my cutting board in this container I've got all kinds of plastic wear just all kinds of plastic wear if we need spoons knives forks 
if I don't feel like doing dishes or whatnot, I have that silverware in there. This container doesn't really have anything in it yet, but I'm sure I'll need, I'll come up with something that that will get into. So right now, it just, because it fit perfectly in my thing, so I have one extra container for things that I haven't quite thought of yet. This container here has my cups. We have our different size cups. I have the bigger cup for, you know, if we want a nice big cup of coffee. I also have these cups here that match our um, thing for like juice or cold drinks maybe. We have some different size, just different size cups that I have in here. And then we actually have the smaller cups too as well. We have the smaller cups. So these are our metal cups and of course I do have, like I said, the ones that the coat cups went into. So that is that container of all of our cups. And I would just have it sit on top of so if I, as we need our cups. Now, this drawer, I start at the bottom. This drawer here has everything This has got like um, our burning stove if I need it. It's got some lighter things in there. It's got some sterno pack heat, some more sterno cup things in there. I actually also have some extra sterno containers if I'm cooking with sterno at that point. That's one of our sources of heat. I also have these tablets. If I use this stove, it will use these tablets. So that's in there. And I also have our Peak One stove that if we want to use it on our thing, I have that. So we have our Peak One stove in here. I'd like to get a pouch for that because it's a Coleman Peak One and I love it. But I'd like to get a pouch for that because right now it's just sits in the box. So these are, this drawer here is basically some extra cooking ways of cooking things. So that's this drawer. And I have one of these things that's got where it's bendable so if I need to bend it to get to something that I want to light I can bend it so I like that on the bending one but these just go in this drawer here had them all in here a second ago there we go so that's that drawer it's just basically different ways that I could cook whether or not I want to cook with sterno whether I want to cook with the Epsi tablets or whether I want to cook with the butane for some reason that wants to stick. Okay, so now my second drawer I just got this stuffed in here. Let's see what's going on here. Okay. My second drawer has these are like some cover things like to bowl covers. I bought them, I got them for like a dollar. So they just, they're lateral plastic things that you can actually cover your bowls when you have the cola. This also are different sizes. There's like one, two, three, four, five, six, about eight, maybe in here. One, two, maybe more. But these are plastic things and they stretch over the bowl, larger to smaller. And that's another way to cover leftover food. This here is just my scrunchie pad. And then it's got some things if I want to put like some oil in here, which I would fill up with oil or whatever seasonings I want. But this has got three little bottles and a scratchy pad to do dishes with. So there's that. This here is, I would actually have this taken out and then this would be hung up. But this would be 
it's a uh, tarp like that has extra pockets here that you can put stuff in and then this would sit right behind my table so this would be out of the drawer so that would give me more space to put like my other stuff in here once I'm here this would not it would open a whole lot better and of course I have one sharp knife in here and then my scratch pad to scratch some pad which I think I think I want that one. yeah that's fine so that's what this drawer is but like I said once I would get to camp this would be set up so this would not be in the drawer so that would give up me some free space in here I just have it stuffed in here until to store it until we actually and this is a 10 foot by 6 foot shade wall with organized pockets so that's what that is so let me put this stuff back in here so this would be actually like my leftover drawer like for containers for my leftovers the top drawer just let me get my top drawer a second my top drawer I have my dishcloths in here I have my foil in here for some reasons I have a couple of my silverware in here which needs to go in my other drawer this is just some odds and ends this is my actual camp silverware here but I have this drawer would be like my foil my baggies I would have some baggies in here to take and stuff but this would be like my foil and maybe some stirring spoons but that's what this drawer is for but right now it just has my micro washcloths my other washcloths I'm actually going to put my Purell in here because that would be a good place to have that and then of course you want your laundry or soap detergent so I would get a bottle to put that in there so that's what that drawer is so that would sit in there this is also stored back in here but once I get to camp this has got all of my utensils in it all my um, cooking utensils that I would hang up so this actually is like a an apron or something that you can hang it up on the tree and then it's got like your spoons your turning stuff your forks your skewers your I got a sharp knife in there but your your kicking utensils so that is another thing that wouldn't actually fit in there and then I got my some more kit here my some more sticks in here but this here is something I could hang up on a tree that's nearby and if I didn't hang it up I could just took it to this I could just um, loop it onto the handle here and then I would still at my excess have like my utensils that I need but right now I just have it sitting on top of there I just have it sit right on top but that would be oh and it's got my can opener you always need a can opener bottle opener so this is just my kitchen utensils that I have here that I have stored on top but when I get at camp I would actually hang this up either on a tree or I could hang it right here on this tube tub and it would help me get my stuff then we come to this container and let me show you this one okay this is my container I'm going to put my pots and pans in all right I'm going to put my pots and pans in here. Now this has another one of my cooking things in here. And I keep it in the plastic bag because it gets kind of messy. But let me show you. I love this. This is just a pan. It's just a, um, like a coffee pot. But inside there I can keep an extra uh, propane tank full thing in there. And it works perfect when I take that out, put on my burner thing, and set that right on top like that. Of course, it's got the little uh, like stovetop thing. 
and that's how I, but this is how I store that, and then you can boil your water in there. So I like this pan because it fits perfect in there. I wish it was a little bit taller so I could put my actual um, camp thing on top, but I do keep it in this plastic bag because that way sometimes it gets soot and stuff on it. So there's that. I have a pan if I need to cook over the fire with, I have a pan. Or sometimes if I need to use it as a, I can put it upside down and put my butane on top of it. I got my little tea kettle in here. Another one of our cups. We got cups. I might take this off. I'm not exactly sure. And then in here I have two mess kit sets, two different sets of mess kits, which would be my cooking pans. There's two different sets in here. I got the bigger pan. They're all stacked in there, but I got the bigger pan and the smaller pan and the smaller pan and the frying pan. Here's the frying pan part in here. And then we have another cook set in here. This is another way of burning or cooking. I like this little contraption here. This is my husband's favorite. But you can use, whoops, you can use wood on this, or you can use the pellets, or you can actually use uh, the uh, but it's his little stove. It's his stove that he's using. But it's nice. It sits up really nice. I think he wants to take this one with us this weekend anyway, so I have to get it out. But it all stacks up. And you can either put your wood chips in there. And then it's got, you turn it upside down. It's got your little burner where you put your pan. Put your pan right on there. So it's a nice little stove. And it folds up nicely. So this is his little stove. And now I got, oh, oh me. That's his stove. And then I also have, oh, that's part of his stove. I also have our little Samoa Junior Maker. And it runs off of your uh, sterno can. It just has your little sterno cup thing here. And you put your and turn it upside down like this and then you can cook your little marshmallows without actually having to build a campfire but it's a nice little thing if you can put it on the picnic table and if you just don't have a fire going on that day or something you can still have a, a marshmallow some more so I like that so all that fits in that little box I'll get it all put back together and then I'll show you once it is put back together again hold on Today I got this S'more Family Fun Maker Junior. You can enjoy it indoors or outdoors. And it comes with, in the box, this is how it comes to store it. I'll take it out of the box. We'll put it together. It's got two S'more sticks that you can assemble together. It comes with the heated screen out top. It comes with a base, a sterno can, and a burner. So what you do is you turn it upside down. You sit your, there's some rivets on it, but you sit that right on 
like so. You stick your sterno can inside. You put your net on the outside here, so it's right in there. And then when you assemble your two forks, then you can take and put your you like your thing, and you can this will heat up, and you can burn marshmallows right on top. And that is the Sterno Samore Family Maker Junior, and it contains one can of Samore heat of 2.5 ounces. You can buy extras, but it shows right there, you, and it burns your marshmallows, melts them. And you, even if you don't have a campfire, you can still do this at the picnic table and have a Samore on those nights that you just don't have a fire. Sounds like fun. We're going to try it when we go to camp. Here we are trying our new. He still has the tag still on it and everything. <laughs> he still has the tag on it. But we're experimenting with our new cooker. We're going to test to see how long it takes 